Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. So I'm coming to you with uh, some current favorites. I haven't done a monthly favorites. I haven't done a quarterly report in so long. So just, there's no really no excuse. I'll get back on it, I promise. Once I'm done with my vacation stuff and I we get back on a regularly scheduled program. Um, yeah. But this is going to be current favorites. Things I have been loving um, I don't even know the time frame. I don't even know the span. But if you guys watch my channel, regular subscribers, um, I love a good haul, you know. I pretty much do some sort of makeup shopping every weekend. And I've, I've accumulated some things since my last favorites. I've accumulated actually a lot of stuff since my last favorites. And I thought I would share some of those favorites with you. I don't know if this is all of it, but, um, everything <laughs> except two no everything except three items are face products because that's where we've been living we've been living on this face um that's what we've been living that's 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 where it's been so let's start with the non-face items um i'm actually going to start with the things i didn't like i you know in this whole grand scheme of time there's a couple of things there's two things i have have now that i really didn't like that i want to share with you so the first one being the color pop blush sticks i did an order from ColourPop and um purchased it was like during their sale purchased a blush stick um i like in the favorites you'll see i have another type of their blush that i like but this blush stick i got the shade coastal drive it's from their this is the cabana club collection i think or the limoncello collection it's just very greasy it's very greasy to me the color is fine just very pretty um but it's just very greasy to me it does not set very well um and it almost like like as i blend it in it like blends away like it just disappears it's not even there anymore it's, it disappears um it it's on my it stains my fingers blending but like it just doesn't and that could be the shade in terms of double, doesn't not showing up on my skin but because of how easily it rubs away i think it's part of the the texture as well so that wasn't my favorite um it you would have to set this with um another blush and we're under a blush and do we have time for that most of the time we don't mm -mm. most of the time we don't okay this, this i <sighs> I'm not going to like return this or anything. This is not something that, this is something that I'm going to keep using. I know this sounds so bad and you can't justify Like, I'm going to keep using it because it's not the worst, but this definitely did not meet my expectations. And that is the Melt Cosmetics uh, 420 palette. I really enjoy Melt Shadows in their stacks. This was my first Melt palette. And this palette, oh, I think it's beautiful. But the shades, this texture of shadow, and I could be, I don't want to say I could be doing it wrong. I've been wearing eyeshadow for many, many years. Um, they're not as blendable and as opaque as I was expecting them to be. Um, I got a beautiful look. I get beautiful looks out of it. I've worn this palette a few times. I love the color scheme, the greens, the yellow. Like, I love it. I love this. But the shadows, I just, especially the mattes, I don't, and this is almost all matte. There's literally one metallic shade in here. But I don't know the pig, yeah. I just, I wasn't, I was expecting a lot more from this. And this is a, not a cheap palette. It's 50 plus dollars, like $58 or something. Um, and like I said, I love the color scheme. The looks I, I came up with were beautiful, but I had to pack that shadow on way more than I expected. I expected I would have to. And um, I don't know. I love the melt stacks. Uh, let me know how you feel about this palette. Let me know in terms of the pa or the palette consistency. Well, they are. They're different than the stacks. So... I don't know. So those are the two things I wasn't really feeling. But now everything else is a love. Um, everything else except these next two items are face products. So the first thing um, is this Buxom Shot uh, Buxom Plump Shot Lip Serum. Collagen Infused Lip Serum. I'm going to tell you something. This is $25. That's a lot. Um, but this makes, I'm almost done this. I need to get another one. This makes my lips feel so good. Now, if you're not into super plumping stuff, this one's fine. The Buxom, all the Buxom stuff claims to be lip plumping, but they don't tangle. Like, I feel like, maybe like I'll put on some Carmex. Um, 
but there's no pain, no super annoying irritation. Um, and this kind of has that same feel, almost like a minty feel, but it's so smooth. It leaves my lips a little bit, I mean, plump, I don't know. Um, but it leaves them so smooth. Um, it leaves them so hydrated and pillowy soft. I put this on, so I put my lip balm on, like getting ready, my skincare, you know, um, my lip balm, if I need to do a lip scrub, I do do that if my lips are particularly ugly. And then maybe um, a few minutes, maybe about 10 minutes if you before you do your lip. So like right before I put my, so I'll do all my skincare and lip balm and stuff and do my eyes. And then when I'm done my eyes, that's I'll put this on while, while I'm doing my face. Um, and it, or I just wear it alone. But it is like a jelly consistency. It's so smooth. So, it makes my lips just the... Um, I said I was almost out of it, but actually there's a lot on the side. It's just the way it is. Okay. But if I was almost out of it, I would have believed myself. Like, I use this stuff every single day. Absolutely. You don't need to use it multiple times a day, because once you put it on, your lips are good to go. But I do be reapplying it. So good. I haven't tried this on top of, like, a matte liquid lipstick. That might be something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right, and then we have an eye thing. I did not put any palettes in this favorites because while all the palettes I've been trying, I love. I've been trying them for the sake of getting out with getting the new out and getting it filtered into my collection. So even if it's a palette I really, really like, which like the, the I'm not, I I need to use a lot of them a lot more to really be like, yeah, I love this. I like I love this enough. You know, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I didn't put any palettes in here. But this is the ColourPop Color Sticks. They have a set, um, I think they sell them individually. But these are their like jumbo pencils. And this shade, I kind of smashed it. This specific shade, check please. This is a beautiful inner um, what's the word I'm looking for? Waterline shade for me. You know how we do a nude to brighten up? You know, a nude in the waterline. Some people use white. I don't know. This one really brightens me up. And it's not that bright. It's not that... I don't know. I love putting that in my waterline. It looks really nice. These... I only have the matte set. I bought the matte set. They have a metallic set as well. Um, but... They go on smooth. They're... You don't have to sharpen them. They're retractable. Love it. Love it. And I specifically love this shade. I've been putting it in the waterline with pretty much any color look. And it's been bomb.com. It's been bomb. All right. So we have some highlight, contour, blush type of products. Let's get into those. Um, let's get into those. So this blush I I do like from ColourPop. This is the Cheek Do Serum Blush. I only have one, and the shade I have is Hot Fuss. This stuff is so pretty. So it's a, a serum blush. It's a liquid. You shake it up. Um, how I wear it is I'll dot it on the back of my hand, dot it on with my fingers, and I'll use my fingers to blend out or I'll use like a small stippling type of brush, something like this, to blend it out. And this goes over one thing I, Candace is not doing, changing the order, for the most part, changing the order of what, how she does her product. So if it's a cream serum liquid blush highlight contour better be able to go over top of my foundation go over top of my powder go over top there are things i put under my foundation but like blush is not one of them people do that i don't do that i mean will i ever probably maybe but in terms of like i don't like changing the order of my products based on the type of product it is unless i'm wearing like a concealer as foundation that's something different but again I'm going to set my face, my foundation, with a powder before I do my contour, before I do my highlight. I mean, not my highlight. Yeah, before I do my highlighter, before I do my blush. And whatever, it doesn't matter the texture or the, whatever the product is, it needs to be able to go on top of that. Period. And this does. It's beautiful. It is definitely a lot. Can give you Ringling Brothers. Um, so you can use it sparingly, but it lasts all day and it gives a natural flush. It just looked so pretty. It didn't look like paint on my cheeks. It looked so pretty. Love it love it um bronzer bronzer contour whatever well no before we do yeah let's do it i already said it this is the elf putty bronzer baby i have two of these um two different shades this one is come on mama come on i'm trying not to put my reading glasses on this is sun kissed okay this is sun kissed and this is where's that brush 
don't know. This is a little bit lighter, and this is uh, called... Bronzed Bell. <laughs> so I have these two shades. This is definitely a very, this one's a very natural contour for me. Um, and then this one's that more you really can pow, 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 you know what I'm saying? Beautiful. I love this stuff. So the e.l.f., I'm going to be honest, the e.l.f. putty primer ain't all that to me. Um, it's, it's, it's decent. It ain't all that. Like, it, I don't want to say how it went viral. Um, but the blushes I enjoyed, the putty blushes I enjoyed. I didn't really like the putty eye primer. That wasn't hitting for me either. It wasn't all that. Uh, but this bronzer, beautiful. It blends beautiful. I wouldn't say it's as good as the Huda Tantor. The Huda Tantor is like my favorite cream bronzer. Now, I haven't tried the Anastasia Beverly Hills one that I just purchased, but we'll see. Um, but the Huda Tantor is the best creamy. I have two shades of that. I love it. This one is definitely a cheaper alternative. It's really good, but you have to do a little bit more work to blend it because this is a putty. Um, the Huda Tanto is definitely a cream. It's easier to blend out. Um, so you have to be careful with this putty. I use the e.l.f. brush that they kind of made for it, and I don't know where it is. I don't know. Uh, but it's like a spatula on one side and then the brush on the other side. Um, yeah, I don't know what it is, but, um, I use that to blend it out, and it blends out fine, so something fluffy, like this, this isn't that brush, but something fluffy, really get it, it'll really blend out and diffuse and look beautiful, but you do have to do a little bit more work than compared to, like, the Tantor, which is a little bit creamier, which is the consistency that I really like, but I had to put them in here because six dollars, great shade range, just do a little bit more work blending them, and they're, they're bomb, they're bomb. Just do a little bit more work. Do a little bit more work. Um, there's a mixture of drugstore high in here, so we're going to keep rolling. This is the Huda Bronzing Powder um, the, from the new Glowish line. And this is 05 Rich. I think this is the deepest shade. Love the packaging with the square and then the circle, the circle lid. Um, there's a swirl in here, but it comes off as a deep matte contour shade. Love it. It's a satiny finish. It, I said matte. Wait a minute. It's matte, but a satin may not be the word I'm looking for. It's a soft finish, like a soft, soft focus type of finish, if you will. Beautiful. Like, Huda does face products like nobody's business. I have another favorite Huda product in here. But love this contour shade. It's absolutely beautiful. I recommend it. 2021 summer has been the summer of skin tints. And contour stuff like cream contour and it's been everything I need in my life everything so we love this Huda uh, it's called soft radiance and that's a good that's a good name for it bronzing powder really really enjoyed this also enjoyed oh baby the Natasha Denona bloom blush and glow palette I did a uh, Sephora haul with this I did a whole rose gold get ready with me face because I wanted to go glow rose gold as soon as I bought this y'all I love this I'm thinking about getting the bronze one uh, um this is a four pan four product palette um cheek palette you get two cream products you get a glowy cream base here it's like a cream highlight base this is a cream blush beautiful beautiful on its own you don't have to set it with any powder it's gorgeous um and then you have two highlighters i'm actually wearing both of these mixed together today as my highlight um but you have a like lighter um lighter rose gold and then you have a um orangey peachy orange shade and they're both super glowy and they're absolutely beautiful and of course you have this window that covers the cream products because natasha denona she thought of it. She thought of it. So, or her creative director thought of it. Um, but yes, absolutely love this palette. I think this is, I mean, I'm so excited for this. This is absolutely, the rose gold theme, I'm so into it, y'all see, I'm still, still glowing, trying to get that rosiness. I don't know. It's been, I've been loving it. Um, and this is just a hit, a, a hit, a hit, a hit, a hit, a hit. Sorry, y'all keep touching my hair. It bothers me when other people touch their hair all the time. But these are fresh braids, like, only a day old. Okay. And we cute. All right. Um, I'm going to use those later. I'm going to do those later. Let's get into this powder really quick. This is the La Mercier. I'm, I know I've talked about this because this is not that new anymore. Um, this is the La Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Um, this is the small size I have, and I'm going to have to get the big size because this stuff is bomb. This is 
translucent honey so she came out with a new shade of it um this is oh baby this has been the probably the only under eye powder i have been setting with it is gorgeous beautiful it's translucent but it gives some it gives what it need to give and i just purchased if you watch my ulta platinum haul this under eye setting powder this is specifically made for the under eyes it's a secret brightening powder um and so this one's not as yellow this is shade two it's not as yellow but we're gonna see what the difference is um this is the one i just mentioned in the haul so we're gonna see what the difference is this only comes in one size but this translucent honey baby this is what i'm gonna have to get the big size because love it mm -hmm. okay 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 um i don't know where to go i don't know where to go let's go with the thing let's go with <laughs> i don't know where to go all right we got some let's go to the face products let's go to the face products uh, I mean, we are in the face products, but let's go to like the base products. Let's talk about these concealers. Um, Lancome Tint E Doll Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. I got two of these here. Baby. Baby girl. Baby boy. Baby. Um, these are beautiful. Full coverage. I'm not going to give them maximum coverage. Full coverage concealers absolutely gorgeous these work um because i've been trying a bunch of skin tints and everything for some i think it's kind of weird where you have super super full coverage under eyes and you have like a skin tint on like today like my under eyes aren't full maximum coverage um because that would be i just feel like it would be a little bit weird i don't know um i feel like the coverage should match but these are full coverage but they have been i've been using these with my skin tints because like um, when I started trying the skin tints, whatever, and I got these around the same time, they were my new bin, had to use things. And so I have two shades here. This is uh, 460 and 410. 460 is more of my skin tone shade-ish. Uh, and then this is 410, which is a lighter shade. A lot of these run a little pink. So me and the guy in Ulta were... Um, definitely trying to make sure we found a warm one because i like a warm under eye and there were a couple other warm ones so this is something that when i purchase some more shades probably um but absolutely i wonder if this is a cosmetic company outlet i wonder i don't know but love it absolutely love it um this is a matte concealer it's not like super glowy or anything like that sets well been setting it with the la mercier powder and beautiful beautiful all right so, um, the next thing we have are, I have one, two, three, five, like foundation, tan, see, whatever, just the types of products. Um, the first one being the Derma Blend Flawless Creator Multi-Use Liquid Pigments. Okay, so I just talked about these because I purchased another shade on clearance. But anyway, these are, it's a drop foundation situation. It does say on there, you can mix these with things like your tinted, like your moisturizer or something like that, but they can be used alone. Um, the custom, remember the cover effects custom cover drops? Those were advertised as mixing just period. Always being able to, you mix them with something. And I would mix them with my Rimmel Stay Matte Primer and have a beautiful matte foundation. Um, these, I wear them just on their own. They are multi-use, but I wear them just on their own. This stuff, full coverage, beautiful it flawless definitely flawless um i derma blend we know we know derma blend don't don't play with the coverage and it's beautiful this is so the other like i don't own any other i do i own the derma blend cc cream um and i'm trying oh ow i've tried samples of um the jar one it is a lot it can be a lot and if you're not into full maximum coverage covering up scars tattoos whatever it can be very overwhelming that heavy of a coverage this is going to give full coverage this is more of a normal full coverage foundation in the derma blend line if that makes sense so i do recommend it. it is matte finish um natural matte finish it doesn't um oxidize at all and it's very pretty Just letting you know how pretty it is. <laughs> the next one. Um, the It Cosmetics uh, Bye Bye Foundation Oil Free Matte CC Cream. I'm going to tell y'all something. I don't know why I didn't hop on the CC cream, the CC cream earlier. I don't know why. But it's beautiful. This stuff is so good. And it's an SPF 50 plus. So this is definitely probably something I'm going to take on vacation. This is 
full coverage um where where am i going with this okay the spf is a plus it does not oxidize it looks beautiful on the skin this one is definitely a makeup one you know i'm wearing makeup it ain't like oh she got good skin this is this is good this is makeup even though it says um actually it doesn't say cc cream i just lied to you this is a full coverage moisturizer not a cc cream same thing it don't look like moisturizer it look like foundation but it's good it's good okay then we have and all the skin tints we used and all the skin tints i've tried over this summer um i think i have my favorite two here um these are we have the urban decay hydromaniac stay naked tinted glow hydrator long name and then this says medium coverage up to 24 hour wear and then we have the huda beauty glowish multi-dew skin tint all right, I'm going to talk about both of these at the same time, okay? This one's 30 something dollars. This one's $29. Both of them are pretty much, for me, full coverage. This one actually is more coverage. The, the Huda Glow-ish, Huda loves coverage. This is coverage, baby. This one is giving me coverage. This one is buildable. They're both buildable. You don't want to overdo it with this one. Um, this one is giving me very beautiful full coverage, like I said. This one's giving me both just just okay um in terms of glow the reason why i like both this is super glowy and this was something if you watch my video where i tried this it was very overwhelming to me because i'm just not used to my face being that glowy with my base products as i am a matte foundation person okay and so it kind of like took me back but it didn't mean it wasn't beautiful i loved it i love the look but this baby is giving you that beautiful glow it's absolutely gorgeous this one says um tinted glow hydrator but this one gave me the most natural looking glow um this one gave me the most natural looking glow it's glowy but for some reason it was definitely I could, I could handle it. I definitely could handle it. Um, tint, uh, where were we? 24 hour wear. I will say that this one's less maintenance. This one is definitely, you're working with a foundation. Um, it, it feels like a foundation. It's a little bit heavier on the skin. You have to, you know, set all that, all that, all that. This one does behave a little bit more like a uh, tinted moisturizer, if you will. But the coverage is still there with both of these. Um, so I really like those. In the Urban Decay, I am 70 Dark. 24 hours, I didn't wear either one for 24 hours, I don't know. But they did last all day. I'm 70 dark in this, and I am shade 10, deep tan in the Huda. Um, very nice, very beautiful. And then finally, in the in the foundation category, this one actually is a foundation. And y'all, I love it. This is what I'm talking about. I love a full coverage matte speckle on my face. And that is with the top, but not in a bad way. It still looks beautiful. Um, I told you guys I like, when I wear makeup, full coverage makeup, I don't want people like, oh, her skin looks great. I'm not trying to fool you. I want you to know my makeup looks good. It's full cover. I, uh, okay? This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 16 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. This is the new formula they put out. No, I did not try the old formula. Um, but this stuff maximum this is on the line of maximum coverage i'm in the shade 51 and deep neutral and it is so good it is so good y'all it's probably my top favorite foundation right now it is um you can do it with a brush or a beauty blender even with a beauty blender you know beauty blender soften the coverage and make it look even with the beauty blender you're still getting that max coverage you're still getting it and it is so <sighs> that this is probably if i ever went to prom this is my prom foundation Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, almost done here. We have some illuminators. Um, these are highlighters from Huda. Huda. Rare Beauty. I. This is something else that I would love some more shades in. These are the uh, liquid luminizers. I have three shades here. I have Flaunt, Reflect, and Outshine. So they have a doe foot, and these are, again, liquid illuminators. Now, I will say this. They're beautiful. But they don't give, they're beautiful, I don't want to say natural glow, because no one glows naturally rose gold, but a really natural highlighter. If you want that, you know what I mean by that. A really natural highlighter. However, they are bomb as bases for powder highlighter. So I've been using a combination of this. Uh, this one is Flaunt with the Laura Mercier, the new Laura Mercier rose gold powder, Cosmic Rose Powder. And they are beautiful together, giving the best shiniest rose gold, rose gold highlight um from two products other than my Natasha Denona um but anyway these are Dofa applicator they set really nicely and they don't move I mean you have time to blend them out but they set really nicely um and you put that powder over top baby your highlight ain't going nowhere baby 
Oh, absolutely beautiful. So, shout out. These are 22 bucks, I think. Shout out to Selena Gomez. I, I don't even say Red Beauty. I just say Selena Gomez now. Um, and, like, with Fenty, sometimes I just say Brianna. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so she has, like, seven shades of this. And we gotta get we we gotta do it we gotta do it and then um the melt cosmetics sex foil liquid highlighters i have worn these so what these are it says digital liquid highlight but they are a bottle of liquid happiness um they have gold they have this deep chocolate bronzy one um i've used these i've mixed them with my foundation i've worn them under my foundation i've worn them as liquid highlight over my foundation by itself i've worn them as liquid highlight under a base under a powder highlight they are everything they're a little pricey they're almost 40 dollars a jar a bottle uh, but you do get one full fluid ounce in here um so you, you're gonna have four and a little goes a long way i mean a small dollop of daisy goes a very long way um so yeah there's seven shades of this if i'm not mistaken i have five of them the other two maybe one day i have five of them but these things are beautiful absolutely beautiful i love these liquid highlights y'all i've been in this glowy this glowy situation and then oh almost forgot i need to show the sprays that I've been loving. Um, the first two are from Catrice. I am really excited. I want to try some other Catrice sprays because I didn't know they were popping like this. So this is the Oil Control Matte Fixing Spray. It says hydrating, pore minimizing. This is the matte fixing spray. Um, 16 hours. So cute. Cute little bottle. Um, this stuff is really good. This, I will say this. It's not on the level of Urban Decay Ultra Matte because that's a favorite too. I'll talk about that in a moment. But this is definitely a natural matte um, it's going to get you through a work day, 16 hour. I don't, I don't remember that, but it's going to get you through the situation. And it's a definitely a natural matte. It's not super, super matte. Like I wouldn't spray this on and go clubbing and dancing because it ain't going to hold up for that. Um, but this is definitely like a good everyday matte where you're not doing too much, but you do have oily skin. Um, okay. And then this one, I'm wearing this one today. This is the Shake Fix Glow Spray. So this is a high, it says hydrating in cactus flower and pineapple extract. Let me shake it. And it's giving us a little glowy something in there. Uh, almost like a bronzy rose gold situation. I'm wearing this today. It's a Shake Fix and Glow. And I have not touched up my makeup. I put this makeup on um, probably about... eight hours ago um and so this is what we have this is all the glow I, I, I i've been liking a lot of glow yeah um and this is so good these are only about eight dollars you know teresa's drugstore you can use your coupons at ulta um but i have been enjoying these sprays you can see i've used quite a bit of that one um i've been enjoying these and they're very cute and i'm very excited now this peppy puppy puppy the urban decay all-nighter ultra matte let me spray it on my face right now see what happens y'all this stuff first off we know urban decay setting sprays are og triple og anyway the d slick i'm trying to figure out what the difference is in the d slick and this the d slick is more so for oil control if you have oily skin but and so i guess it if you're not oily then you're matte or maybe it just gets rid of oil and you're natural the d slick is really good and I always thought the D-Slick would make me, made me mad as well. So this Ultra Matte, but let me tell y'all something. I overdid it the first time I wore this Ultra Matte. I did my face, I wanted the matte look. I overdid it, and I looked like I belonged in a casket. I was so dry looking. Now, I fixed it by spraying a couple pumps of Fix Plus, and we were good to go. But this stuff, baby, ain't no joke. Look, it just matter for me. It, it just, it ain't no joke. Um, be very careful. Be very careful. Little goes a long way. If you're going to get this, um, get the full size. Especially with all of the Urban Decay sprays. I just bought a mini D Slick. I probably should have just bought the full size. Because the mini one or travel one is one ounce. And it's $15. Um, this is $33. So a little bit over twice the price. But you get four ounces of it. Um, and if you want to travel, just put that in a mini spray bottle. If you want to, you know, you can't try whatever, put it in your suitcase and not your carry-on. I don't know. But, um, it's giving it to them. This stuff right here ain't no joke. It's definitely stronger than the D-Slick. So. Yeah. 
So, you guys, those are my current favorites. It's a lot. I'm very excited um, to share with you all. Um, I'm just very excited overall. I'm doing pretty well. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you guys are holding up well and staying safe and healthy. I am as well. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns about any of the products mentioned in this video, feel free to leave it down below. I love you all and talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!